Wow, all right, we're live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the daytime stream. Put this phone down. All right, just started. We're using the uh, YouTube app again. But it just updated. I don't know if that's going to make it any better or if it's going to be worse. <laughs> there we are. I don't know what the update was for even. Ultra Prism. Let me set that down over here. What's up, Dennis Manieri? How's it going, man? Ooh, look at all these slabs. I'll price up one or two slabs. This is the Wednesday? Wednesday daytime stream. Hello, David Philodeau. How's the Ultra Prism coming? Uh, it did wiggle a little bit. Ultra Prism's moving. So eight spots are eating up. Here it is. Took a while. It was a really slow week last week for some reason. It's kind of interesting because we still made pretty good sales numbers last week. I think primarily because of all the slabs and slab away. Um, other than that, though, we didn't open a lot of packs last week. It was a slow week. This week, though, is going to be crazy, right? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Actually, yesterday was pretty good. Ooh, Magnemite, Night of Queen, and Pikachu. These are some great cards, man. We got the slabs. I was going to sleep, says Alex. Damn it, Alex. You got to stay awake. You're going to sleep. Mister, you're back. What's up, Jen? Jen, you're in a lot of streams. Are you getting the new Japanese set? Uh, yep, it's already on the way. In fact, I think one's going to arrive very soon. One of the rounds is. There we go. I saw it had uh, past customs. So once it's done with customs, usually it's like one or two days before it gets to me. Could arrive tonight. Ah, oh, my G. That's some loud music, man. Uh, let's take a quick look. I'm curious. There's one of them where I can look at the tracking number. I can't see the tracking number on the other one. So I don't know how far away it is. Click. Order details. So I ordered this a while ago. This must have been a pre-order. And it says, this package is in Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, that's okay. Hey, how about this Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite? I love this card. I wish you got a 10. Great artwork. Have you guys seen the artwork on this? Look, it's so, so interesting. So this is for a PSA 9. We want the cheapest one. You guys know that our prices on the slabs are pretty much just based off of the cheapest buy now prices. So we match whatever the cheapest buy now price is. So cheapest not buy now would be 25 on this guy. Pretty cheap, actually. 25. Yep, that's a 2. Almost doesn't look like a 2. How about this Nido Queen? Oh, man, Nido Queen got a 9. Such a nice looking card. It's a pity it got a 9. What do you think got, gave it the 9? Sometimes it's hard to see what gave the card a nine through the uh, slab. Oh, here it is. So you can see it's off-center between the top and the bottom here. Do you see that? Yep, that's off-center. Even though the card looks very, very, very nice, that's a nine. So <laughs> that's how it works. It's supposed to work that way all the time, but sometimes it doesn't. Actually, before we look up the Nido Queen, let's get that Pikachu. Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. Now, this should be expensive. Last time we saw this, it was pretty expensive. Go ahead and turn this into a list view. Mm -hmm. I looked at the Pikachu, and they're giving me everything but the Pikachu. What the hell? Dude, it's showing me, like, every card. Oh, uh, hold on. We looked at the wrong... We'll look at PSA 10. First gym Pikachu. Mm -hmm. Damn, $160 for this one card, guys. Crazy. It's kind of wild how one good common card in your booster pack, your vintage booster pack, can be worth so much money. Because I mean, if this is the cheapest buy now, it'll probably sell. I mean, I'm looking at it right now, and it's got 14 watchers. I'll show you. Here it is, see? That's how it is. When you're the cheapest buy now, you tend to sell. Okay, put this here. Not always. Someone help. Ribs and beans are not a good combo. Mister, are you going to buy the Tyler the Great Warrior card? Tyler the Great Warrior. I don't know that one. <laughs> what? Oh, that's that Yu-Gi-Oh card. Is that right? He was the guy who was fighting cancer and they made a Yu-Gi-Oh card off after him. That was really nice of them, huh? I like that. Uh, I hope he does something good with the money. 
because it seems kind of odd to sell, doesn't it? There you go. Jungle Japanese. 40 bucks. It's the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, I heard about that. There we go. Not a queen for this. <laughs> 40 bucks. That's crazy because a pack of Japanese uh, jungle is like $200. So $200, and then you pay $20 to grade it. So in the end, the value of this card as a nine is 20 bucks. It just doesn't seem right. He said in the video he's not attached to it anymore. Ah, oh, that's silly, man. Ah, oh, that's not right, man. That's kind of insulting. He shouldn't say that. He should just say, I'm going to do something meaningful with the money. He would be like, I'm, I'm going to be donating to uh, charities with this money for other kids who have cancer. You know, that's why he should. He shouldn't say that. Oh, I just want money now. I don't, I don't really care about Yu-Gi-Oh. What? what? <laughs> Man, they did a special thing for you. All right, there we go. Oh, well, it's his card. He can do what he want, wants with it. That's what private property is. Who wants to open a shop? Like a card shop? I guess he can do that. No problem with that. Still, I mean, if you're going to open a card shop, your card shop would be more special than other shops if it had that card hanging in the background. And you can find private investors to help you with your financial stuff. Do you adjust your prices lower even more if the cheapest buy now contains the best offer? No. No, we just go off the cheapest buy now price. Just because uh, an item has a, a, an offer doesn't mean the buyer's about to accept your offer. Here we are. Also, another thing is, by default, eBay adds that option. So a lot of guys will have that option in, but then when you try to make an offer with them, they go, no way. <laughs> I'm not accepting offers on this. So it's just in the listing because by default, that's how PayPal has you listed. I'm sorry, that's how eBay has you listed. You actually have to go in and remove it to get rid of it. So I've, I've shot for cards for years. A lot of cards have the offer thing and they, they go, I'm not taking, I'm not taking any offers. We are. There we go. All right. Looks nice. Sweet. Let's go ahead and jump into our emails. You paid Walmart. I bought some groceries. Sergio L12, One Piece English, one in the large sublist. Sergio, how's it going, Sergio? Here is the large sublist. You're number three. Okay, that's what the sublist looks like now. Large sublist. Seven spots here. Would you be interested in a trade for my tops Pokemon Series One non-foil Zard? Um, you got one in your bag. Is that what you're saying? Other, other than if if it's a card you've got, you're holding on to. Uh, it's really not a big enough trade for me to be interested in it. One One Piece English. Yes. Mister, if I got cancer, would you give me the Your Mom card? Uh, maybe I would draw up a special card with your name on it. Wouldn't that make more sense? The Your Mom card's uh, sort of related to... Think of the Your Mom card like my my personal card. You know what I mean? It's for me. It's my card for me. <laughs> you got a smoker. Dude, you should quit smoking. You'll start coughing like I cough. It's TCCG graded, and you still have it. That's right. I do still have it. Oh, oh you're talking about the uh, Charizard. I was talking about the Your Mom card. Um, I see what you're saying. Well, if it's, if it's been graded by me, then there's a different problem. So the problem with selling me my own graded cards is people could accuse me of, like, giving the card a good grade for myself. Does that make sense? So I generally don't buy back uh, card economists graded cards unless it's, like, a weirdly good price. You know, so if the price is low enough on it, I could argue that, well, it's pretty much the, pretty much the price of the raw card anyways. So in those cases, I do buy it back. Here we are. It, it would be a conflict of interest if I was the person grading the card and then receiving it. So that is a conflict of interest. But I have I have done some trades where I take on my own graded card, but they have to be really good trades. Marco Zuniga, he says, John said he put the vendor giveaway Pikachu on the table. Would I be able to trade it for store credit? Uh, also, I DM'd you about trying to sell off a box of Topps Nintendo Game Packs. Yeah, I might be interested in the box of Nintendo Game Packs. Um, how much did you want for that, Pikachu? That's a, that's a real important part of this trade. I finally did see it. Um, 
if you want a lot for that Pichu, I don't think I can do it, okay? So let me know what you think. You make an offer, Marco, and it's got to be a good offer because otherwise, I got to say, you got to keep it. That was a card that, uh, that was a card that you got for free. And then if I bought it back from you too, it's like you got, I got killed on it. <laughs> Does that make sense? So I already lost money on that card when I gave it to you. And then to buy it back from you too, that would be like really expensive for me. All right, let me go ahead and refresh. And that was it. There's no other orders. You guys can send in an order if you'd like to open some stuff today. It's the daytime stream. We'll be going on for an hour. It is, uh, what is today? It's uh, Wednesday, right? Let's head over to, yeah, scratchy chin. Let's head over to the Zell orders. I don't think there are any Zell orders. I didn't see any come in, but I can clean up my emails anyways. Walmart. Coinbase. Walmart. USPS. Uh-huh. Walmart. Uh-huh. Oh, the property manager sent me a message. I kind of want to read that. Okay, delete all these. Got like 100 useless emails. Let's see what the property manager says. He says, awesome. I will go take a look when I get back in town. I like that you have store credit to refurnish it. That will make you feel new and fresh. The insurance is totally up to you. Not everyone does it since they have homeowner insurance that covers liability. Ours pretty much adds liability, but also covers any damages to your stuff. Linen and Terry is a bed sheet. I'm on a short vacation. Oh, okay. So he's on a vacation. <laughs> I'm like reading my emails live. Capcom. Did you guys know I get uh, Capcom emails directly from Capcom? Uh, like their, their personal private group. You know, their internal, their internal group. I think I'm getting early access to something. That or they're just, they're just showing off what they're working on. Oh, yeah, they're giving me early access to some kind of Monster Hunter Rise thing. Wow, I don't even make content for that anymore and they still give me that early access. That's so weird. Did the Umbreon slab break go off yet? What's up, Seamus? Umbreon went off a while ago. Yeah, Umbreon went off a while ago. I think it went to uh, Calvin Fellman, maybe? I don't remember who won it. Capcom, uh, you want to show off our game? <laughs> or, <laughs> that's right. Well, I must be on like a list, like an email, <coughs> an email list that they have. So guys, it, it's just a slow day, I suppose, and there are no orders, and we can sit around and talk, or I could price up some slabs. Let's price up some slabs. So I would say, let's see, grab this over here. Remember Game Economist, Pepperidge Farm remembers. Get some cards here. Ditto, Mankey. So these are additional cardless cards. Sandshrew. Hypnocardos. Sent a Zell order, says Vix ripped. Thanks, Vix. Well, let's see. Because I didn't see a Zell order. I think Kitty's in the room today. She's not in. She likes to do that now. She tries to sneak in. Oh, there it is. Victor Deeves. What's up, Victor? He says one sneaker bunko, one dimensional phase. I only found this channel because of the Game Economist. One dimensional fade. I want to watch Mr. do some push ups. <laughs> Funny man. Sneak. Okay, got that sneaked up. Mr. Victor Neves. Uh huh. Wow. Zephyr. Zephyrmon. That's a textured card. There we go. All right. Very nice, very nice. Mister, you have to stream the beta. Do I? <laughs> the the Pokemon, you know, the problem is I don't have my gaming setup anymore. It's the, the laptop's old and busted. The microphone, I think, got damaged during the move. I don't have like a gaming chair. I don't have like a desk or anything. So I don't have a gaming setup anymore. So in order to do that, I would need like a whole robust system again. And then I could probably stream Monster Hunter once again and probably get zero views because I've been out of the algorithm for forever. So I would probably get all of like 40 viewers. Who knows? I mean, I'd probably get most of my viewers from you guys on this stream. You guys would be like, hey, he's streaming on the other channel. <laughs> That's it. There we are. All right. 
We got Sex Booby Lady. All I hear is excuses. Well, so for the for gaming, I definitely would need a new setup. That's that's the truth. I just cannot hit go live and go live. You know what I mean? So no matter what, I, I'm not. I don't have the equipment. No matter what, you got to get a streaming setup regardless. Yeah, I know. I know. We keep moving, and we are. I don't like to stream on the uh, other channel as much, anyways. Gen Daytime Order. The new Monster Hunter game is a mobile game made by the same people who made Pokemon Go. 3K, really? Just got my Slabby in the mail, mister. Thank you. No problem, Brandon. Glad to hear that. John's hard at work. <laughs> Had my uh, lawn mowed today. I don't even know how much that cost. My wife set that up. My wife. Jonathan Sylvester canceled an automatic payment to you. Unacceptable. No, I'm just kidding. Marco, oh, I already did that. So, Marco Zernaga, you're you're questioning 350. I'm nowhere near that. Not even slightly close. No way. So, on the Pikachu, I couldn't do that. I apologize. I did lose money on it because I give away a card. It's a form of promotion for that channel for the uh, Pokemon for the Discord server. So, I lose the value of the card that I. Wait, was it a vendor giveaway? Help me understand. Was that a vendor giveaway? Maybe I misread your messages. Hold on. If it was a vendor giveaway, then yes, that money is lost money. <laughs> yeah, you called it the vendor giveaway. So that's money that I would have sold. And then to buy it back on from you as well means I'm taking on new inventory from this card. It's just really expensive, man. I, I, I think I see what you're saying. Like you're saying in theory, you're already going to give it away. And so now you're just buying fresh inventory or something like that. I would definitely not do 350 Jennifer Yap says two resurgence. Resurgence. Ready? All right. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. There we go. Three soldiers return. Ah, yes. You might be better taking it and putting it on auction on eBay. That'll turn it into cash. You guys notice the scuffing streaks on the front of the PSA slab? Kind of annoying. Oh, yeah. I, d I notice that all the time. CGC doesn't have that. There we go. Mm. Jennifer Yap daytime order. Whoa. You ready? Mm. Here's Sabin, Princess Sarah. I'm not going into work, so I can watch the stream, says A. Perez. <laughs> You're not going to go to work? <laughs> That's no good. Here's Zidane. And Kuja. <laughs> That's a new pair of scissors. It is. How'd you know? Here's Orphan. Little Orphan Annie. There you go. <laughs> Will you restock the Naruto packs? Yes. They are already on the way. When I saw those orders come in, I was like, oh, cheap Naruto packs. Those are popular. So I set in the new order that day, that moment. <laughs> And false stalwart. Hey, where's the old scissors? Do you watch baseball, mister? Uh, no. I don't watch any sport, actually. <laughs> I saw the Super Bowl. It was okay. It was, it was all right to watch. I had nothing else to do that day. Actually, I was kind of... I think I was kind of irrit irritable that day because I felt that my time was up. My free time was over. And I had not done anything I really enjoyed. <laughs> The Royals got crushed by the Braves. Oh, no, not the Kansas City Royals. There we go. At work, watching Mr. Make Money. Not a lot of money. <laughs> it's, it's a slow daytime stream. Sometimes daytime streams are busier than the nighttime stream. Okay, let's hit that refresh button. Mr., will you and your wife be partaking in the 420 Festival? No, I won't be doing any Wheaties. Kitty's over there scratching. Michael Spaulding says, bulk grade my Yu-Gi-Oh! access code talker. And could you see what's in my bag? Absolutely, Mr. Michael Spalder. Michael Spaulding. <laughs> Spalder. Laura Beckner. I will be sleeping during 420. I will just be spending my day like every day. Relaxing. 
preparing mentally for the next stream. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Evil Twin, Fusion Destiny, these guys, some Hollows, the Bird, and Arctovish. So it looks like the card you want graded is going to be in one of these. Access Talker, there it is. Yep, 420 plus Taco Bell equals sleep. Oh. All right, sweet. Mm -hmm. Put this sleeve in here. Damn, you copying Pokemon? How dare they have a 25th anniversary? Oh yeah, I got like a notification that that's been shipped out, the 25th anniversary stuff. I think I ought to go ahead and place another order now, because by the time the first round has arrived, it might it might sell very quickly. I don't know if it will. All right, thanks, Michael. As you guys know, we need about 30 grades a day for John to keep John busy full-time. Otherwise, we're going to have to find other work for him. Here we are. Those mailing grades have really been helping keep him busy. Jesse Selena says, ship. I have a multiple slabs from PSA, CGC, TCC, and a baggie. Thanks. No problem, Jesse. Got a lot of stuff, huh? Jesse Salinas. Can I see... Can I sob away a box of Yu-Gi-Oh? I mean, you could. It's possible. Give me a second. Look at Kitty. She's being a butt. Kitty, what are you doing? She, she's not even paying attention to me. <laughs> By the way, we are on the YouTube app. Have you guys experienced any problems so far? I haven't. Jesse Salinas. Yes. That's what my cat looks like. She's a big poofy kitty. No problems? Maybe the update fixed it. No problems so far. That might be the end of Streamlabs for us, finally. He says. Kitty, okay, what are you doing? Uh, we have Darwin Morales, seven lost orgasms. You got it, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thoughts on Leonhardt boxing? Uh, I didn't watch it. You guys told me that he lost, so that's sad. I wish he'd won. Oh, the guy asking about the Umbreon slab break. He's not talking about Moonbreon. Oh, my God. He's not talking about Moonbreon. He's talking about this. I get it now. Two spots left on that Umbreon. Here's Bonnet. Roserade Barbacle. Nuzleaf. Kingdra. He lost badly. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Whoa, this is a cold round. Oh, that's a really cold round. I'm sorry, Darwin. Darwin, that was seven cold packs. How do you feel about that? If I were you, I would not feel well. Uh, let's get you a little bonus card here. Help you out. Damn, dude. You got Embor. <laughs> there's, there's no recovering from that round, Darwin. David, 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 Daniel. That looked like a six. Oh, that looked like six. He ordered seven. You opened six. Did I really? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're right. He's got one more. <gasps> so wait a second. Maybe he doesn't need this because this is going to be a hit. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Oh, my God. How's that even possible? It's still cold. And, ooh. Oofty poofty. David, Daniel... David Ma, Dave Jans, Dallas. We've been having some great pulls on this channel lately. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Our pulls have been super good. 
I heard the Pentagon leaker is going to get a Snickers bar. What? <laughs> what does that mean, Alex? And we lag. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Is, is there some sort of major lag? One of the mods confirmed? YouTube app breaking. Can you drop codes SMT? Hold on. Let me go ahead and... Let me go ahead and open this in another link. So I'm looking at it on my screen, and it looks perfectly fine. Did you turn off ad blocker? I'm going to go ahead and reset my phone. I don't know if that really is necessary, though. Actually, let me leave it running for a minute, okay? Let me leave it running. Welcome to the daytime stream, everybody. Let's see. Here we go. This is the other. There we go. We got the two slab breaks. It is a little fuzzy. I can see it. It says we're live, but it skips words. Oh, does it? All right. So what I did there is I hit the reset button on my phone. I, I, I really wonder if it's the YouTube app or the iPhone, but the YouTube app just had an update, so I figured we'd give it another try. We've been using Streamlabs a lot. Streamlabs has been doing a, a better job than, than uh, YouTube. But you know, the other night, um, <coughs> no, it was yesterday, uh, the, the uh, Streamlabs crashed, like permanently crashed. In other words, we lost connection and it did not recover. And so that was really disappointing. So today, the YouTube app updated, and I will try YouTube app. Streamlabs was working perfectly. Well, that's what I'm saying, Matthew. Yesterday, it wasn't, actually. So yesterday, it actually crashed and stayed permanently crashed. We lost the stream. Got to be the app, since this doesn't happen to Streamlabs. Yeah, I think that's a good point, actually, Mike's side. So whatever the interaction is between the phone and the app, um, Streamlabs seems to be cleaner most of the time. How much for the Ditto on the left? Yeah, this is a really popular card, this Ditto. This is one of those Kardos Pocket Monster uh, special cards. He's trying to transform into the three starters. It's just really bizarre looking. Looks like something out of uh, Stephen Carpenter's The Thing. <laughs> I think that's his name, right? Is, is Stephen Carpenter? Let me go ahead and close this up. So we'll just reset the phone from time to time for now, since we're still on the app. All right, so an eight of this card goes for $85. Here we go, 85. It looks like Coom. Hey! <laughs> we were all Coom once, weren't we? We were all Coom once. I noticed my phone's kind of hot. All right, let's see what we got next. Here's Ryan Searles, two spots in the Umbreon break. That's it, it's over. Umbreon break is done. 12, 13, Ryan Searles. Let's get it going, man. I'm excited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we got twelve. Guess we gotta need one more. Thirteen. It's funny, this was only like a $65 card, this uh, Umbreon was. It's funny, it needs so many spots. <laughs> It's like I sold a very cheap card is what I did. Okay. There's just one pull in here. One major pull, and it's the slab. Oh, that was cool. Look at this. All of the black booster packs sorted into a uh, cute little pile. <laughs> That's so random. All right, give me a number. Jen's got hearts. <laughs> give me a number. Give me a number. Welcome to the daytime stream, guys. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on spot number one, Bryce. Bryce. Ethan Hunter. Oh, my God. That's number two, Ethan Hunter. Just like that. That was so fast. Spot number two is the winner for once. All right. So someone inform Ethan Hunter that he has an Umbreon now. Wow, now I got a crazy lag, says Funko. I reset the, I reset the phone again. There we go. It's interesting because the uh, stream was running fine for about 30 minutes. It's interesting that now it's lagging. Could it be like a heat thing? 
Oh, dude, the, the phone's really hot. Why is the phone so hot? Oh, man, I, I, the YouTube app's really disappointing me. I want to go back to using it. Did you know that? So that's why we're testing it, of course, because I want to go back to using it because it's actually a better app. It's better designed for the user, for the streamer. It's better designed, but not if it keeps crashing. Go, Ethan Hunter. Why would the phone be all hot like this? It's so silly. Dude, I won, says Jack. You won! Let's get this Nido Queen next. Oh, that Nido Queen is nice. So that's 40. So this is going to have eight spots. How about that? Nido Queen is next, everybody. That is the mini break. The mini break's been pretty fun. I think it's popular. It's not a lot of money. It's a pretty small thing, isn't it? So, like, if I sell that Nido Queen, it's like 40 bucks. <laughs> Doesn't really affect my day much. People place orders bigger than 40 bucks all the time. Oh, come on. you got to be kidding me. What are the design differences? Uh, oh, let me reset the phone for you. I don't know how often I got to reset the phone to keep it from uh, crashing or doing whatever the heck is wrong with it. Uh, but basically, the YouTube app shows me who has a membership and how far along that membership is. On Streamlabs, it does not show that. It doesn't even show me who the mods are. So I can't see mods and I can't see memberships. And then it's much harder to read messages on Streamlabs. YouTube makes it very easy to read the messages in comparison. They're both hard to read, sort of, <laughs> but but YouTube is actually much easier. Uh, also, I like the muting button better on uh, the YouTube app because on the Streamlabs app, if you're trying to mute, you might flip the camera around and be like, ah. <laughs> so I don't like that. That's annoying. There we go. Maybe check alternatives to Streamlabs. Maybe you'd like one of them more. I didn't think of that. Here's Jeff Leon, one Hollow Live. Hollow Live. Jeff. My sister updated her iPhone and now it's all wonky. Oof. If you still have your iPad, you could run the chat on the iPad while using Streamlabs on your phone. Here we are. Well, I could do that. Um, of course, where would it go? Where would I fit the... the uh... That's my whole table. I get this little area right here. It's not like there's a bunch of room over here either. Any Merlin stickers in stock? Yeah, we got a Merlin sticker series one. You can see it in the menu, Mr. Blue, Blue Moon Pokemon. What's going on? Just joined says Squidly Cards. What's up, man? What is Ur Lane? Nice of you guys to join us. One Mashoku Tensei. I can't see the cards on the table. <laughs> Going for the snipes, I have it back. All right, you got it, Mr. Jeff Leon. I sent you a clip of the Leonhardt fight. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> is, that, uh, is that the 18 plus cartoon cards? What? <laughs> what are you referring to? 18 plus. Nothing on this channel is 18 plus. Are the Feraligator and Typhlosion still on the table? They sold. Somebody snatched it. You are? Okay, that's a hollow, and that's a hollow. All right, uh, these are for children. Night of Queen needs a bra. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my bad. I'm gonna draw a little nips on Night of Queen now. This is for Jeff Leon. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate the order, man. Okay, thank you, Mister. Says Sir Sir G O. Stipio. Kitty's sitting in the chair, man. She's sitting in my chair grooming. Whoa, big order from Parker Wilcox. Been a while. 20 Hollow Live Volume 2. Whoa, that's a really big order. You got it, Mr. Parker. Okay, let's reset this. Dude, I can feel my phone. It's hot. Dude. The phone's really hot. Why is the phone so hot? Oh my god, man. That's a that's gotta be the YouTube app doing that. Something about the YouTube apps. It must be drawing on a lot of uh processing power from the phone okay now i'm getting pissed that's right i'm pissed <laughs> all right uh oh girl holding her teddy bear her squishy mallo that's 16 i believe damn you youtube app 
Yes, YouTube app is uh, always giving us trouble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's twenty. I curse you, YouTube app. Do you have the iPhone charger at the same time my iPhone gets like that? Well, yeah, it's charging right now, but I do that in every single stream. But it doesn't heat up like this in every single stream. Oh, man, if it's lagging that often, if it's lagging like every thir three minutes, that's pretty intense, man. Ugh, it's so bad, says Drake Brown. Yeah, can't believe the YouTube app's still not working for me. It's really disappointing. I feel like they're doing this to try and force me to buy a new iPhone or something. Sorry, we make it for the latest iPhone. I'm stoned, weed gang. Here we are. Happy 420, Mr. Random Gamer. I just reset the phone, so let me know if that adjusts the lag right away. Time for iPhone 20, mister. Definitely not the iPhone, mister. Wee. Yeah, I see your point, Mike Side, because Mike Side's pointing out that Streamlabs doesn't seem to ever do this. I mean, I can reset the stream on, on iPhone or on uh, Streamlabs right now, but we are already kind of deep into this stream. There's about 30 minutes left to it, and, you know, I don't want to reset it all and lose the audience and everything, you know what I mean? The packs are opening themselves. I could just reset the phone over and over again. Resetting the phone fixes it for about five seconds. Oh, that's really bad. Is that true? Problem is the iPhone. Buy a Samsung. Just the phone there. Love at Pokey Stocked. Okay, squirrel girl. Cute girl. This is for Parker Wilcox. Ew, Samsung. I, I really just listen to the moderators when it comes to uh, lag performance. I need moderators to... Uh, I only hear a quarter of what you say, says Drake Brown. Is it really that bad? Let me watch it on my screen. It's probably going to echo because I'm going to watch it on my screen. What's up, Pingu? All right. Actually, I don't hear anything coming from this. Oh. All right, there we go. I think there's a, actually, there's an audio delay. Oh, yep, it just lagged there. Oh, no, this is unacceptable. Mister, I just got the Gengar plush. Wow, this is terrible. Mr. I, just got the I don't know what to do. Do you guys want me to jump on the, uh, oh my God, it's so awful. I'm, I'm going to hop off of here, and I'm going to hop on to Streamlabs, because this isn't acceptable. That's such a low quality. Mr. Take it from a technical person. It's provider, not you. This is effed. You guys, I'm going to reset it on Streamlabs. Okay, so we're going to jump on Streamlabs. Uh, Mr. Parker Wilcox, we're, we're putting up a brand new stream, so be sure to migrate to the new stream, okay? I don't want you to miss it. But I don't want you to watch it in low quality either. So we got to go to the new stream because this is just not acceptable. We got to have better quality than this, okay? So I'll be back. I'm starting a new stream.